Hello everyone, Namaste, welcome to Astral Luck. So today we are going to read about messages from your karmic friend. And who is your karmic friend? Today I really wanted to dedicate this reading to Lord Saturn. Today his, it is his birthday. If you have not watched my message of the day, uh, you can watch that because there I briefly talk about him and how important is today uh, to let go of things that doesn't belong to us. So, I thought that I'll pick messages for you on behalf of Lord Saturn because sometimes it is also that you might have to receive something that belongs to you and somebody else has taken it away from you. So it can be either ways and we cannot just keep on giving things but we can also keep receiving things also because of Saturn because Saturn is the ultimate judge who tries to ensure that we have what we always had in our life and we can continue to grow from there without harming others so and something that was taken away from us for forcefully will definitely come back to us. So having said that, let's start the reading. This is pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. I hope you have identified your piles. I'll start with pile one. If you have not identified your pile, just pause the video and please identify your pile. So let's start with pile one. You have I who guide you, dare to face yourself. The journey, nothing is as it seems being true to yourself. So you are quite prominent here. So something that you need to reflect upon yourself. Find your sacred flow. Again, it's you. It's a different deck, but again, you are very prominent. You as a person are very prominent and you need to take care of something and then move beyond the intention to believe and the spark of hustle. Something is telling me that on a karmic level, uh, th there's not much that you can give to others or receive from others. It's more of you have to do something for yourself. Uh, you are at a very neutral position right now on a karmic level and you have to take, make that effort or take that energy from the universe by, it's just like, uh, plucking a fruit from the tree you have to pluck that fruit of course you need to ask permission uh, and just take it after that uh, the asking uh, making a prayer and take that fruit and consume it the energies are waiting for you the angels are being there around you to help you and they are helping you to Start a new venture, something that you always wanted. It's you at the center who has to take things forward for yourself. Uh, there's a whole uh, tree that has to blossom, but that tree is waiting for you to manure it and the tree is waiting for you to uh, put in some emotion, some water, to the whole thing, uh, the roots of the tree and then you'll see that uh, there are new flowers and fruits that are going to blossom and 
it will help you and don't worry you are well guarded there's nothing to worry about that's what the universe is telling me to inform you and what the cards are saying that the angels are right there waiting for you to transform you into a diamond and then you will attract lot of people who would want to possess you or who would want to work with you or who would want to get associated with you and you have to set your intention to move forward right now because what is being lacking right now is your intention and your acceptance that there's nothing that you can give to others and nothing that you need from others you are self sufficient and you have finished your karmic debt that's the most important good news that you have finished your karmic debt and what you can take from for yourself is that you can take new energies from the universe but you don't need anyone as you don't need any human intervention you there's no human who can give you a lot of things right now uh it's something that is going to come from the universe from the divine source uh whatever other humans are offering you right now is something very superficial and you are not interested and you're quite wise enough to distinguish between these two things so i i really don't have to tell you that that's what the universe is telling but you need to start a new hustle for yourself and a hustle which is going to uplift you the uh, and going to make new additions positive additions in your life so that's your reading pile 1 i hope you find it interesting uh, and please leave your feedback thank you so much for watching your, this video let's start with pile 2 hi pile 2 how are you let's see what's your message is melody of thought finding your passion the power of self change of consciousness follow through stop drop and ground and you the muse okay what i'm feeling here is that you really have taken something with an intention that you really need that material thing in your hands to succeed in life and that's what the universe is telling that it's you who has the magic that material thing whether it's a book pen whatever it is i'm giving you random examples or uh, a person who whatever it is is not doesn't hold the magic it's you who are holding the magic and because this whatever material thing you have been possessing right now doesn't belong to you has to be taken away from you so what the cards are telling it is that you in your deep consciousness already know that and you can actually return that possession to whoever it belongs to at the first place and then start with your own magic because the magic is deep inside you and wants to come out but it's not getting a medium because you are trying to use a medium which is not compatible with your inner magic and you have to be your own medium your own mind your own hands your own body is a medium you don't need anything else and once you start relying on yourself and go with the flow and follow the instructions that have been individually provided you by your guardian angels or whoever you believe in you will see that you can create a big alchemy for yourself you can transform yourself you can transform yourself into gold and you can 
get anything that you always wanted so it's more in your hands and less in the hands of universe and something that you have been uh, possessing believing that this is very instrumental in your life is not going to help you let let it go it belongs to someone else it might be very instrumental for someone else in their life but the more you try to uh, possess it it's like two way danger for you anyhow it's not going to help you that's the first danger second is that you are holding it for yourself while somebody else can be using it right now so that is the second danger because you are blocking something for someone else also so please be careful don't hold on to things that doesn't belong to you and you are quite self sufficient to do the magic that you want to create in your life so that's your reading pile too i hope this is useful and let me know if you realize what you are holding and if you are comfortable or maybe send me an email but do leave a comment because it helps in youtube to pick the algo uh, make the video more visible pile 3 this is your reading program your highest intention spiritual dna series alchemy is a foot okay that's very deep and profound let me see what the other cards have to say because i don't see a karmic debt for you or something like that but i let me see the other cards create the fire fill your cup with sacred giggles and create a water wow <laughs> I'm quite happy to see these cards here. I don't see that you have any karmic debt. Congratulations. That is a good news because sometimes some people really struggle with those things and it gets very difficult for them to handle. But uh for you what I see here is that you are uh you are deep inside some kind of spiritual journey and what they are saying is that this spiritual journey is full of rewards full of gifts only thing is that you are quite hesitant to go deep inside that spirituality you are scared i don't know what kind of uh, feels you have but what i feel here is that uh, getting deep inside spirituality is your destiny and for somewhere you have to do that magic for others it's your destiny somewhere you, but for doing that magic for others you need to first do that magic for yourself to realize how important you are you have to lead paths for others because when i was saying that it was 13 13 on the camera and uh, of course uh, after adding the intro that time would change when you watch the video but then 13 13 for me is more like sun and putting it from my perspective of numerology i see that you have to shine bright like a sun showing path to others showing a very deep path to others and putting people on the right side although people won't be interested initially and you don't have to worry uh, you have to shine bright and you have to keep shining people may get allergic to you because sometimes if you go out in the sun you pick up that sun allergy you pick up that uh, uv rays or you pick up the, those sun burns people might feel good bad ugly everything about you 
but don't worry because there would be a larger section of audience compared to this section of people who would use all the brightness that you are radiating towards them for the betterment of mankind it's that profound energy for you so you need to transform your spiritual dna that's what the cards are telling here you need to create a serious alchemy and you need to put your foot down now there's no escape saturn will not allow you to escape that's what the cards are telling that it's something that you need to uh, get into the deep uh, ocean of the emotions and alchemy and spirituality so there are two elements that have come out fire and water so if you see both are in the opposite direction like one is an upward triangle and one is a downward triangle so you need to put them together to complete the magic complete the star so you don't have to ignore your emotions you don't have to ignore your passions so somewhere what the universe is saying that in last few years you have become so numb you almost started behaving like a zombie or a dead body which doesn't have any passion which doesn't have any emotions it has brought lot of turmoil to your body your health your mind the way you see the world the way the world sees you it's not helping you need to transform and you need to transform in a big way and while you are transforming yourself a lot of happiness lot of giggle lot of uh, cosmic energy will be there for you be, to cheer you up to uh, keep you motivated so i know last few years have been quite tough for you but now things are going to change and you will be magically uh, transformed with all the happiness that you always wanted so that's a very profound reading i hope uh all this is relatable to you right now e even if it's not whenever you feel that connection please come back to this video and leave a comment i would be very happy to read that because somewhere as a communicator uh, if i get some kind of acknowledgement i feel blessed that at least i it it was meaningful for some of them who watched this video So thank you so much for watching the video let me move on to pile 4 pile 4 let's see what the message is for you becoming who you are meant to be process of attunement and maintaining balance and grace manifest your dreams that was another message here on the card becoming who you are meant to be and then collaboration of souls external validation and unstick the stuck so for you i don't see a very big karmic debt but the problem here with you is that you are so emotional right now that you are creating a reverse karmic debt you are voluntarily giving a lot of things to others and others are feeling very pleased about it and they are taking it without understanding that they uh, they uh, both the sides you and the other side is creating an imbalance of karma because you are a soul which has lot of free will if you are on a neutral ground but if you are on the 
extreme positive or extreme negative ground then you are creating imbalance and for you you are on the extreme positive side because you are giving a lot of positive energy to a lot of people and it's good for you it's really good for you but you also need to understand that the energy one day you will feel exhausted and one day you will feel very lonely because to whom you are giving right now they they are taking it because they are on an extreme negative side and they need that positiveness and they need it very badly so whoever gives them they just take it it's not their mistake but for you what is happening is that you are draining yourself and with the people who really don't need your help they need to learn their lessons you are cutting short their lessons and extending it at a later stage because they have to go through that lesson anyhow so focus on yourself become who you actually wanted to be you are actually doing this to get a lot of external validation that's what the cards are telling you don't need external va validation you don't need a certificate from the world that you are the best you yourself should know that you are the best if you do that the all the stuck energies that you have right now because you are not able to move forward because you are feeling drained you will be able to clear that and there's also a lot of positive karma on your side because you have helped lot of people uh, in this process so you have generated a lot of positive karma for yourself that is a good thing and that will come back and help you to unstuck a lot of energies but moving forward don't seek that external validation don't worry about that just focus on yourself and try to find your own path because your path is very unique very different and once you found that balance walk on that path gracefully because somewhere i feel that you have also uh, generated a certain amount of hatred for the people who have taken your positivity you have given that positivity involuntarily and they have taken it but you thought that some time they will also come back and help you when you feel drained but then they still need even more positivity to reach to that level to actually be able to help you so they are not in a place to help you right now so you expecting help from them is really not the way to handle this and then once your expectations are not met you feel hatred for them and it's creating a again a different kind of karma and you are supposed to ground yourself where you are take all the positive energy from the mother gaia that's what they're saying that mother gaia is willing to offer all the help because you have helped so many people knowingly or unknowingly and now once things get neutralized and once you find your neutral path you need to keep walking on that very gracefully not going to extreme left not to go extreme right and follow your path fulfill your duties as a soul and reach to the point where your soul really wanted to be so your reading is very straightforward that you need to stop draining yourself that's your reading thank you so much for watching this video thank you and namaste bye bye